Mercer's Popeye voice was a singular sensation, but a duality in nature, similar to the style used by Tuvan throat singers in the Far East. What they do there is they develop this weird way of singing. They would just go, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, that's hard to do. And, uh, and it was real low. And then some of them would pit, get a whistle out of their voice. It was incredible. And I thought, well, wait a minute, I'm listening to this one guy. And the more they play him, I realized that he's doing a high voice and a low voice at the same time. And then all of a sudden, it just hit me in the head. It's, he sounds like Popeye. The high voice would be clear and the low voice would be clear, but Jack Mercer would be, uh... Yoo-hoo, olive oil, I bring you some flowers. And then the low voice at the same time would be, Yoo-hoo, olive oil, I bring you some flowers. And so it would be like, um... You olive oil, I bring you some flowers. <laughs> but the talents of Jack Mercer extended beyond his voice. Being a story man, even, he understood what was going on in the stories. So it, it turned out that Jack Mercer was much more than that. He was an amazing talent. Story men in the animation world at that time were all artists. They were cartoonists. 